Alright guys, so the Rio was the last beat I made before I went out to California. Cross countries for slow people. Right? I was about to say that. I was in track, full fuck you. Song was like when I was really starting to get into a zone, and I know I'm getting in a zone when it comes to making beats, when I start making more hyper tracks, because that's something that doesn't come easy for me. Um, I'm, I like chords, I like smooth tracks, y'all know. I mean, y'all watch my channel. So, <laughs> I like I like chords, I like smoother tracks, I like soft beats, I, just, I don't know. I just like a lot of, I like minor seven, nine chords or whatever. So when it comes to making hyper tracks, it's like a more simpler process, and it's hard to like bring it down a little bit, and still be like creative and make something that sounds different. So I basically just made the beat and I started on the hook and it was a really corny hook. Not super corny, but pretty corny to the point of, I think I, my version, when I first sent it to him, I said, uh, took a flight to Vegas, ain't got shit to do. Want to drink, icy drink, sit by the pool. And I was like, yeah, this is kind of cringy. So when I sent him the hook, I sent him that part, I sent him like, Rio, da ba da ba da ba da ba da ba da ba Rio. So I sent it to him. I said, "Hey, please rewrite this. I don't know where to go, but I knew I wanted it to be about the Rio. The reason why the Rio is so important is that's the hotel me and this dude met at, Damien. And it just really, when I first made the beat, it really just reminded me of the 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 night like 2 a.m. We're drunk and we go down to the hotel or we go down to the uh, casino, and I'm just watching them gamble because I don't even gamble." So I'm watching them gamble. We just had a couple of liquor in our hands. And we're just walking around. Like, it was just a real drunk night. It wasn't even that hype, probably. But when you're drunk, everything just sounds louder. You know, you know what I mean? You know what I mean? <laughs> but it was like, it was just one of those nights where we, were, we, we already came down drunk. And I just remember seeing these like three white girls getting back from some hotel party club or something. And they're just all walking around. Like, they look like the Michael Jackson thriller video. They're all kind of separated. They don't even look like friends. And I just remember yelling out like, Hey, yo, y'all know y'all look like some zombies, right? And they just thought, <laughs> and they just kept walking. It was basically, it was just one of those nights. So without further ado, I want to show you guys how I made this beat. And yeah, I'm going to go through, I'm going to go through each of the sounds. I'm going to go through kind of my philosophy on drums a, a little bit. I think I'm going to do another video on just production stuff. Let me know, email me or comment me. Let me know if you guys want me to do some uh, production stuff. That's really what I find fun. So I'll probably just do it anyways, I don't care if you'll ask. But if you have something specific you want me to go over as far as production, uh, let me know in the comments or email me at progressmusic24 at gmail.com. Let's get into this beat. All right. So when I started this beat off, gotta figure out how I did this. So that's how I started off the beat, right? So, that's the first sound. Then, I doubled it. Same exact sound, but I just wanted it to sound more, I don't know, kind of a, uh, just sound like the nighttime, sound like some Halloween shit, basically. I don't know. But those are my main two sounds, so you put them together, it just kind of adds a little uh, layer into it. Then, I do drums last, usually. I normally do drums last. I like the music to dictate where the song's going. I don't like... I don't like when... You can tell they did the drums first, and it's like, ah, let's just put some music on it. I just think the music's more important than the drum. So I start off with the music. Next thing I do, I normally... I almost, almost, almost always have a pad in there. So, here's the pad sound. Just something to smooth it out a little bit. Something to add something to the second part of the verse. Just sticking it out. I just use the same chords. Let me see if I can remember these. Yeah, here it is. Just real simple, real smooth, just to add something second, secondary. So right now all we have is. Thing that would be missing now is, is some bass. So I didn't find an 808, but 
But I know I needed some bass. So, and you can see the just a simple 80, not 808, simple low bass, simple sub bass. So if you put that all together. Just something real simple, something that could go with some drums real easily. No problem there. Um, the only other thing I think I added was I doubled up the pad that I talked about earlier. So that sound, it's just a saw pad basically. And then the other thing I added to make it sound a little spookier was some, just like a high synth sound. So, and it just kind of leads you in, like it's letting you know there's another section in there basically. So if you put just all the music together, it'll sound like. So to get to the drums, when I'm attacking drums, especially for a high, high, like a uh, high paced track or a hype kind of track, I keep it very simple. I keep drums simple in general, but I'm using battery three and I have a deep kick on there by itself. I, I like to layer my kicks a lot. There's the, uh, that's the low kick and I have a higher kick with it. Just so you gotta get both sides, you get the you still get something that's gonna like knock your head back, but you still wanna be able to hear the kick. So I also have snares, I have three snares playing all the same together. So I have a kind of a reverb snare, then I have a closer snare, and then I have a 808 style snare, kind of what you hear on trap trap songs these days. Then I have two hi-hats playing back and forth. Well, if I can get it playing, I'm just playing back and forth, nothing, nothing crazy. I don't have any like a uh, uh, fast-paced 808 or trap snares or whatever. Then I have this little loop, and that was just to add a little something, just add a little percussion to it, and it just plays kind of at the end of something. So that that's it. And it's not even there the whole time, but it's just to add a little something to it. So if you put all that together, just the drum part, it knocks pretty well. And I'll just start adding the music in. Anyway. 